Hello, today we'll be demonstrating how to properly perform an amniocentesis. An amniocentesis is a procedure that removes amniotic fluid and is done generally between 15 and 18 weeks to check for chromosomal anomalies. If it's done later, around the second trimester, it is to rule out congenital defects that may warrant elective termination. Third trimester amnios are done to check fetal lung development and can be more difficult due to increasing size of the baby and reduction in amniotic fluid. While there are always risks with any invasive procedure, amnios are fairly safe with only a 0.5% abortion rate. It is our responsibility to obtain all signed consents prior to the procedure. At that time, we check baby vitals as well as the mother's. Hi, Jan. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Thank you. Good. I'm Dr. Filipados. My name is Tang. I'm the sonographer. Hello. Hello. And so we've checked your vitals. Everything looks great. Can you confirm your last name and birth date for me? Uh, Smith. Uh, day of birth is June 13, 1978. Great. Now here's a consent form. Can you please go ahead and sign this? Thank you. Now today we'll be performing an amniocentesis. So Jan, do you know what that procedure entails? Do you know what it's for? Mm -hmm. I am an AMA and then I want to check the uh, congenital defects in this baby. Great. We can get started. So we have checked fetal heart tones and everything looks normal. We'll go ahead and perform a timeout. So my name is Dr. Filipados. My name is Tang. I'm the sonographer. Now can you please confirm that you are in fact Jan Smith, birth date 6-13-1978? Yes. Excellent. So today we'll be performing an amniocentesis. Uh, it's 6-29-2015. To minimize infection risks, we take careful steps to reduce any complications. These steps begin with a sterile field. Using an amniocentesis tray that is sealed assures us that the contents inside are sterile. This will minimize the risk of infection. Make sure to check that the package is not punctured or expired. When establishing your sterile field, keep in mind that the edges of the package are not considered sterile, so do not open with sterile gloves on. At this point, you can apply your gown. You're going to start by opening the tray away from yourself. Avoid reaching over the area, then fold to the left and right sides. Lastly, pull towards yourself. Keep in mind, the one inch border on all sides are considered not sterile. The assistant will open everything to leave the doctor sterile. At this point, the doctor can put on their gloves. Make sure that the cover you're using for your transducer is sterile and depending on the type is handled appropriately. So over here we have a probe with regular gel on the inside, a probe cover, and we're going to be using sterile gel on the outside. You're going to begin by preparing the puncture site. Swab sticks and prep well provided, may use with desired antiseptic. At this point, you can drape the patient. Fill a 
five milliliter syringe with local anesthetic. Raise skin wheel with local anesthetic using 25 gauge needle. Using the transducer, locate the deepest vertical pocket of amniotic fluid. Good pocket. Determine correct depth and document the area. Be sure to avoid the placenta, fetus, umbilical cord, and try to stay away from the lateral injection sites as to avoid uterine arteries. The doctor may now carefully advance the 20 gauge needle into the amniotic sac. Remove the stylet. If clear fluid appears at the hub, they may proceed. A three milliliter syringe is used to remove the first few milliliters of fluid to make sure that maternal blood isn't present in the final sample. The amount of fluid removed is determined by tests needed. All samples are sealed in bags and sent for testing. After the small syringe, we attach the 20 milliliter syringe. Withdraw the desired amount of fluid. And eject into the prepared vials. The tubes used are opaque so that the bilirubin pigment used to determine RH doesn't break down when exposed to light. In the case of multiple gestation, a sample will need to be taken from all amniotic sacs. Dye can be used to ensure correct samples. I think it's just this quick saver. It's still foaming. After fluid has been removed, take the needle out smoothly in one careful motion and dress the site with a clean bandage. Again, scan the fetus to note heart activity and monitor maternal, maternal vitals. The entire procedure usually takes about 20 minutes. Dispose of all needles and sharp objects in the sharps container. Wrap the rest of the tray and dispose of regularly in the garbage. We hope you enjoyed our presentation and learned a little bit about amniocentesis. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yana.